Hello, I'm Hannah from Malta. Last year in Malta, we had a record number of turtle nests. This is why today I will be showing you how to best monitor a turtle nest. The loggerhead turtle, scientifically known as the Caretta Caretta, is a long-living, slowly maturing marine species that inhabits tropical to warm temperature areas. This species is classified as globally endangered by the World Conservation Area and is also protected by various national and international legislation. The fact that it is endangered makes it all the more important to monitor and investigate what makes such a successful. So turtle nest monitoring involves data collected on surface sand temperature, ground sand temperature, sand humidity, air temperature, humidity, parametric pressure and cloud cover. The data needs to be collected from the nest three times a day, morning, afternoon and evening, throughout the whole incubation period. To take surface sand temperature, one needs an infrared thermometer. First, point the thermometer towards the surface you want to, to take the reading. Then press the button. The reading will appear on the screen. Right now, it is 30.4 degrees Celsius. To take ground sand temperature, one needs to use a wireless data logger with two probes, one 20 cm deep and the other one 80 cm deep. Then, insert the probes in the sand and check the screen for readings. For constant and accurate readings, it is best to leave the probes always in place in the sand and then touch the data logger when you need to take the reading. For air temperature, humidity and pressure, all one needs is a data logger. Using the data logger, one should press the buttons for temperature, humidity and pressure. The, press, the temperature is 31. The pressure is 1015.9. The humidity is 68.3. To take sand humidity, one needs a moisture meter. Insert the probe deep inside of the sand and press the buttons to check the, the humidity of the sand. Right now, the humidity is 12.3. The ground sand temperature needs to be analyzed and plotted against time to study the changes in temperature during the day along the incubation period. The gender of the hatchlings is determined between day 20 and 30 of incubation. For loggerhead turtles, an nest temperature higher than 29 degrees Celsius produces more females, whilst one lower than 29 produces more males. I've had the experience of monitoring a turtle nest between May and August of 2020. Nature Trust Malta was entrusted with the care and supervision of the nest. During the incubation period when the gender of the turtles is determined, the temperature never exceeded 31 degrees Celsius. A total of 83 hatchlings made it to sea from a total of 104 eggs. Usually nesting season in the Mediterranean Sea it's around June and July. As the one I monitored was an early nest and said temperature just exceeded 30 degrees Celsius, most hatchlings were males. Comparison of data from different nest sites show that the physical environment, weather conditions, scent temperature and scent humidity all have a determining role in the success rate of a turtle nest. Thanks for watching, make sure you catch up on my other episodes and subscribe to the Globe Implementation Office to get notified whenever a new episode is posted. Bye!